everyone, it's Sarah from Nova Scotia. I'm going to be doing another paint over today. Um, these three art panels, they're wooden. I got them from Dollarama. You'll have to excuse the mess because they're already a disaster. I'm not happy with this, so I'm going to just do something different with it. Um, so, sorry for the noise. I'm going to clamp them together with these, these little clips I got from Canadian Tire. All right, I'll turn them over, and those will just support it right there. That's fine. It's not huge or anything. But my plan is to do some ring pours across this and make it look like an exotic type of wood, and we'll see how that goes. So I'll show you my paints. I'll just sit them here. You'll probably can see it the best. These are all from Montmartre. I can't remember the name of this green, but I will figure it out soon and I'll put it in the description. This brown, I mixed up myself. It's just black, a little bit of orange and red, um, gold and violet. So I'm going to do up six to start. It always takes a lot of extra rings. Now these paints are all mixed one to one with Elmer's glue to paint and then a little bit of Liquidex pour medium, just enough to kind of cover the top. And then I add water to get the consistency that I want. Now it's pretty thick. It leaves a little bit of a mound there, if you can see. So I just put a bit in. I'm gonna do these all the same. Sometimes I do them a little different so that Give it some more variety, but I think we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna put gold in between each of the colors, and I'm just gonna just gonna keep going through like green, brown, green, brown, purple, and with gold in between each one. Okay. So for ring pours, I just do small circles. I'm going to speed this up, but you actually do it this, this speed here is what I usually do, but I'll speed it up for the video. Alright, so I think I'm going to chip, uh, tilt these first and then add some more as I need it. Then you can straight back the opposite way. I'm going to add a little bit of paint to help it along. A really dark brown that I mixed up. I mixed up three more, not mixed, I poured three more cups exactly the same way I did before. And we're going to do the same direction. We're going to pour this way and then come back. Okay, I'm actually just going to leave it here, so I'm just going to put a couple more, another cup under each one, so they're well supported before I take the clips off. Where it was stuck together, right? So I'll take my, my dark brown and I just add it right up to that it touches the paint. A good amount. Like you want it to be kind of thick. And that'll help pull the paint down. And then you tilt it slightly. Not too much because you don't want to lose your design, but 